Hey, so continuing the series in digital painting and Photoshop for howtodigitalpaint.com. My name's Cam. Now in episode 13, and we're looking at the smudge tool. The smudge tool, as the name implies, is a way to smudge things, similar to if you're using traditional media such as charcoal or pencil or oils. You may want to smudge to blend colors or soften out edges and get some nice effects with that. And we can apply the same same methods within Photoshop using this tool. Uh, we'll look at the technical aspects and also some examples of how we can use it. So first of all we find the smudge tool in the tools palette. The hotkey, the default hotkey is the letter O. I've set it to S. Uh, if you can't find it, it's in the same sub menu as blur and sharpen. So you may see the icons for those, you'll see it in the same sub menu. And so we'll just look at some of the technical aspects of it. So up here we can see when we have the smudge tool selected that we can access the same uh, palette library that is the same for our brushes and clone stamp and eraser and a few more. So if you've made custom brushes already you're going to have the ability to use those custom brushes with the smudge tool. And if you want you can change the settings here just using the same same brush palette, uh, brush settings palette. We can change the mode although I recommend you wouldn't. I, ne I never change the mode I always just keep it on normal. So if you change the mode, what it'll do is it'll apply the smudge effect, but also darken or lighten and tweak tweak these different things such as hue saturation. Uh, we can change the strength of it. So I'll just show an example of that. So I've just got this little guide that I've prepared for this video. And you can see I'm just using a custom brush with it and it's smudging around. And then if I adjust the strength to 10% it's going to really be less noticeable. If I increase the strength it's going to really you know, have a huge effect, see it's massive. It's really um, throwing my paint around there. Um, you'll notice also if you increase the strength you're also going to get more brush lag because it's dealing with more pixels. We can also set it to sample all layers which will affect all the layers beneath it and not just the layer that you currently have selected. So you'll see here if I smudge now it's affecting this background gradient layer since I have sample or layers selected. Uh, the finger painting mode will kind of create this drag effect. Uh, you probably won't know what I mean until you test it out yourself but you'll notice a bit of a kind of delay as if you were dragging something through it. I don't have finger painting on really most of the time. Okay, here's some examples of using the smudge tool to bring a more painterly quality to your work. I like using the gradient to get a quick background down for my work, but oftentimes it looks too plain. So we can use the smudge tool to eliminate that and bring a more painterly quality to it. So when using the smudge tool uh, with a large brush size, you, you want to increase the spacing because otherwise it's going to lag heaps and it'll still lag a lot, but um, you know, it's going to reduce it a bit. So you can see already adding some atmosphere and painterly quality by dragging the smudge tool into the into the gradient. Also painting in some clouds with a custom brush and playing with the edges with the smudge tool to, to add a bit more of a natural feel to them. Now back to this guy um, showing further example of just blending the colors. I recommend that you blend using the eyedropper technique that you can see in other videos. 
Um, that's just holding Alt to to blend colors and using a mix of those. But we can also mix with the smudge tool to achieve a different effect and to play with our edges more. So we can bring some hard edges there. You can see some hard edges on the cheek there. Um, but like all tools, it can easily be abused. So use it sparingly and appropriately. And with experience, you'll get better at it.